Well, okay, today's project, the door we put the hinge on in the last video, we're gonna put a patch panel on the bottom. I decided to use the whole patch panel. The rust is mainly on the bottom, but there is a little bit there in the corner. It's mostly surface rust, but I figure I got the panel, might as well replace it. So that's what we'll be doing today. I have the tripod up, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. And that's a welder's curtain I put over, it's made of fiberglass, I put it over the window so the sparks don't melt it into glass. That's another hard lesson I learned a long time ago. Always protect your glass from grinding and welding. We're gonna start off by putting a panel on and marking the rough area where it will be cut. Okay, what we gotta do next is grind the ends, well, flap disc the ends and the bottom to see where the spot welds are, and then we'll continue to remove them. I kind of found out where these spot welds were on the sides. So I'm going to get my drill and drill them out and then we'll try to pick this up so we can find the ones that are on the bottom. Let's see how we made out on those two. There goes one. Two, successfully two popped. Let's go to the other side. There we go, that one popped too. All right, we're good there. Let's go down to the bottom here. Okay, I gotta drill that one a little bit harder this morning. It's right next to the hinge, so it's a tough spot. We got her. All right, let's see if we could fold this over. The inside of this door is really in good shape, so it's well worth saving. Welds seem to be popping on their own. Yep. See, this was pretty bad under here. And that corner was only surface rust, but I feel better changing the whole thing. I'm going to clean all this up, <clears throat> and then uh, we'll continue. These flanges here are a little bent up for me, taking the spot welds out all the way around. So I'm gonna go around and dress them now so they'll be back to where they should be. Okay, got a little piece of plate here, scrap plate, a little hammer. I'm gonna put these back in shape. Want things as good as we could get them. 
move this new hinge out of the way. Okay, I gotta go around the whole door like that. Then we'll be into the next step. The bottom's fine. Just gotta do the other side. It's not that bad, but like they say, you gotta give it a little love. Okay, we're gonna give it a little final spray or a cleanup. Then we'll hit it with a little welder primer and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we're good on that. We gotta let it dry, and then we'll go on to our next step. I cleaned it up to spot welds where I'm gonna spot weld, and I hit that also with a little weldable primer to protect the metal, and now uh, it'll weld just fine. That mark I was talking about, that one and one on the opposite side. I'm about to cut them out now, just to get it out of the way. Okay, I cut them corners like I said, and uh, you'll see what I do with that as the process continues. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is put that piece back on, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna cut it to make a butt weld. Okay, I have the panel held in place with a couple of ice grips. Now I'm gonna run three or four tacks along the edge here to hold it in place, and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, here goes a couple tacks. Okay, the welder's on. We're going to start a couple spot welds. Right here is perfect, so I'm going to hit that first. My welder's a little hot. i got to turn it down a little. Okay, we got to lift up a little bit here. Nice and smooth. A little bit less wire feed. You want to keep the grind, the crown of the weld small. Beautiful. I have a ear here, but I don't think it's
Okay, we're good. Now, I have to cut down here some more with the grinder. Stay tuned. Okay, a little more grinding. Feels pretty good. Not too hot. That's right. Okay, let's grind a little more. No need to grind tons off. Just need enough to fit a spot weld. That new method I learned, I have some learning to do, but I like it. It's, uh, I just have to perfect it now. We don't, we don't especially love big gaps. and flush. And as you can see, the gap isn't that bad, except for where I goofed up. But I have a learning curve. I have to continue this method until I perfect it for myself. Okay, before we hit these spot welds on the side, I want to make sure it's the, the new panel is in a perfect 90 with the rest of it. Looking good.
Okay, that side's done. I want to go to the far side, then I'll do the bottom. Same thing, I want to make sure this is square. Okay, those tacks are done. Not that hot so we don't have to cool it. I'm getting all tangled up here. Okay, I'm gonna get my helmet now. I've just been closing my eyes doing the tacks. But I feel more comfortable with the helmet I'm doing all the ones I have down the bottom. Well, I decided before I go to the bottom, I'll do a couple up top. I see what the problem is. See the nozzle? It's all full of garbage. That'll goof you up. When that starts, uh, everything go awry, you know something needs to be cleaned or adjusted. Okay, we're good to go. I'll clean these up a little bit and then continue. Well, we're getting there. The next step is to uh, put it back on the car, do a little hammer and dolly work, and uh, move on to the next rusty project. I love this, f I think I call it a finger sander. It's perfect for prepping the metal. Okay, here's the door installed. Boy, it really came out a lot better than I thought. The uh, two by four, you can see, I can't close the door, I'd show you. But I did try it once, and it was perfect. Here's the inside of the repair job. Next, I'll show you the outside. Different angle. Straight on. Mm -hmm. 